I can't help but glancing towards the lift mirror. And then I see it. No, this can't be. Welcome. Hi, my name is Patrick. I live in Spain. On campus, I have heard of an urban legend or a challenge. It is a summoning ritual with the purpose to get the answers to all of your questions. Two players are required for the ritual. I told my best friend Millie this afternoon to meet me in classroom 4B after school and that I would show her something. It's four o'clock and I have just finished for the day. I walk up to the classroom and open the door. Millie is already there. Hi, thank you for meeting me here. Hi, what are you going to show me? Millie says. Oh, about that, I lied. I'm sorry, but I couldn't tell you before. I had no time. Have you ever heard about the Three Kings ritual? I have heard people talking about it all week on campus, and I really want to try it. She gives me a quite annoyed look, but it seems like I haven't lost her interest just yet. I chose this classroom due to that it's located far away from the others, and nobody checks this one after closing time, so we can stay here the entire night. This ritual will give answers to all of our questions if we do it correctly. It would be so much fun. Come on. Millie looks at me and is quiet for a couple of seconds. Okay, fine. I'm in. Awesome. We start to prepare the room. This room has windows, so we start by covering them with newspaper to make the room as dark as possible. I have already gathered a couple of things before and pulled them out of my backpack. A candle, a lighter, a small bucket, and my phone. The room already has an electric fan and three chairs. The two last components is two large mirrors. I saw them in the hallway before, so we walk out and bring them inside the classroom. I pull up my compass, which was given to me when I was five years old, and this is the last thing the ritual needs, due to that this object has a very sentimental value to me. We sit down and talk for hours, and write down what we want to ask. It's 11 p.m. now. I pull up my compass and place one of the chairs facing north. This one will be my throne. Thereafter, I place the other two chairs on either side of the throne facing it. These chairs belong to the fool and the queen. I ask Millie to place the mirrors on top of the chairs. I sit down on the throne and I can see my reflection in both mirrors in my peripheral vision. Millie places the water bucket in front of the throne, the fan behind the throne, and then turn it on. We turn off the lights inside the room, walk out and close the door behind us. Now, we have to wait until 3.30 a.m. 3.30 a.m. I stand up, grab the candle, and light it. I also bring my phone and my compass with me. I walk inside the room while Millie stands outside. I protect the flame from the fan with my body. The flame can't burn out. I walk up to the throne and sit down. I know that this is very important. I can't look inside the mirrors. This could have horrible consequences. Now, the ritual begins. I can start asking questions, but it's very important to first get to know who is the fool and who is the queen. The fool will lie, and the queen will tell me the truth. What is my name? No answer. What is my name? I say a bit louder. I wait for a few seconds, and then I hear a whisper from the left mirror. Your name is the same as your name. I freeze in my chair. That's so creepy. But I need to keep calm. I couldn't understand what the voice said. 
and neither could I decide if it was the fool or the queen. What's my age? Your age is 18, the left mirror says. Your age is 17, the right mirror says. I am 18 years old, so this means that the left mirror is the queen. This is the mirror I will ask my remaining questions. I am shaking, this is crazy. I never thought this would work. What does my future look like? Very dark. The left mirror says. What does that mean? I know I'm not supposed to ask this question, but now I'm scared. How will I die? You will will die die by making a huge mistake. mistake. When will I die? Soon. Soon. I'm shaking uncontrollably, and I can't help but glancing towards the left mirror. And then I see it. It's me in the reflection, but there is someone behind me. A shadow wearing a crown. But the scariest thing is the shadow's eyes. They look straight into my soul. I feel dizzy. I need to leave now. I forget about all of the other steps and run out of the room. Millie stands outside the door. Patrick, you didn't follow all the steps. I have to call you out and you didn't blow out the candle. We need to leave now. We run home to my house. Well inside, we sit down in my sofa. It's going to be okay, Millie says. Do you want some tea? I nod. While Millie walks inside the kitchen, I decide to go to the bathroom and splash some water in my face. I walk inside the bathroom and turn on the lights. I freeze. No, this can't be. In the bathroom mirror, I see a shadow behind me with an ice-cold, piercing glare, wearing a crown. And then I feel hands pulling me down and a heavy pressure over my chest.